Without a doubt, my father is my mentor, and that's why I'm in the trades. If I didn't have a mentor like him, you know, it, my journey would be probably completely different. Growing up being the general contractor's son, you know, I'd do anything from sweep up to dive into siding or framing or roofing, whatever we were getting into. Where did I think my love of construction came from? Seeing my dad do it in the house, you know, renovating and tearing apart an old house built in the 1700s. I don't think I'd be an electrician if it wasn't for my father. I don't think I would have even thought about the trades at all. I can remember one of the first projects we ever did was uh, building a tree house, like probably a lot of people. But of course, when your father's a carpenter, we're not just building a tree house. <laughs> it ends up having cedar shake siding and windows and a real roof and, and door. And getting to work side by side with your father, getting to learn how this all goes together to see what he does all day and get a chance to do it as well. And it really shows you how enjoyable the trades can be. The biggest mentor by far is my father. Christmas is probably maybe eight years old. Um, he gets a call that there's a house without heat. The boiler shut down. I said, Ross, you wanna come with me? I said, sure, let's do it. Hopped in the truck, drove over, and um, within 35, 40 minutes, had the boiler back up and running. Went back home, it was like Christmas, like just a normal Christmas after that, you know, uh, didn't even phase him. Someone's got a problem, let's go fix that problem, let's go save the day. Putting other people first is why he's one of my mentors. You are really good at finger painting. Aww. Oh, dog, wait, thank you. The biggest mentor in my life was my dad, and without any question. He just was amazing in his, in his demeanor, his generosity, and he always found young kids and adopted them, so to speak, into the industry. When I'm good, I'm him. You know what I mean? It's, yeah, that was my mentor. Well, my mentor is my father, because he used to be like a handman. He does all kind of work, and I used to help him when I was a kid. He used to do everything around the house. He never hired anybody. I have a black and white picture of my dad and me. I, I look to be about four or five, carrying the hammer, and he's walking and backing me with his tool belt on. And, uh, I liked it when my dad was, when he was working with us. We had our projects to do on the weekends and after school. One of the things that I really liked growing up was that my dad was able to come to a lot of my sporting events. He had that flexibility because he was self-employed. And I can see now that that's translated down to my daughter, that I'm able to grab her from daycare if I need to. So the lesson I learned from my father was how to do things correctly. Don't take a shortcut. The first steps have to be done completely and done really, really well. And you build on top of that, just like doing a foundation. My father always told me, don't be afraid of anything. If you make it wrong, make it right next time. But keep trying. My dad loved to do things that people said, oh, you can't do this, you can't do that. He, he loved the challenge. And uh, I guess that's in my bones a little bit too. I like a challenge. Some of my friends whose kids are now starting to get to that age where they're not sure what they want to do is I've been able to take them in on a, on a day and have them come work with us and say, hey, try this. Decide if you like working in the trades, expose yourself to it, and give yourself a chance to see it. I've tried to mentor others. It's a legacy of him. There's a great joy in that, Hell, and that's so, yeah. My father lives on when I, when I do better. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button to make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.